Welcome back everyone to episode 4 of Let's Play Rule of Waves. This is a continuation of the previous episode. Now, I've had this kind of sitting up here for a while. I'm kind of trying to marvel at the lopsided nature of this engagement. I was also trying to figure out if there's any kind of strategic advantage I can gain by doing any kind of tricks or anything. I think the last thing I mentioned, destroying the bombardment target and then heading north and then swinging around east back to Spilato. I still think this is the best idea. <clears throat> the advantage we're going to have is high, high speed, so we should be able to pull out. And I think at this point, my hope is that we already have an advantage in the strategic and the victory point calculation, but let's be honest, it doesn't matter. When it comes down to it, I just need to survive this engagement no matter what. Another torpedo launch there. Uh, I just need to survive this engagement somehow without too big of a loss before I just need to get my battleships engaged. That's really what it comes down to. So um, that's what we're going to try to do. <clears throat> These guys are going to swing down as they kind of are. We'll switch over to the bombardment target very soon. They're going to run into the wall about the same time we do. And uh, a fire was started on the leopard. Well, that's probably less than ideal for him. It doesn't say he's on fire, but I, I trust it. The, re the report is accurate. Okay, so we have our aura opening fire at this land target. That's good. So really, we just start turning already to spin away. The St. George is kind of shielding us. We don't want to lose the St. George. I mean, I know I said I don't care, but basically, She's the best thing we have going for us right now in this engagement. We'd prefer not to to squander her needlessly, at least. So the Aurora is going to turn. Um, St. George is going to turn. We make one pass. If we don't kill the bombardment target in one pass, we just move on. That's it. That's, uh, we don't have any backup plan as for trying to engage multiple times. We swing by one time, and that's all we're going to get. Um, okay, so I wish I could direct these guys to engage this uh, heavy damage to Malfi class. I don't think they're going to, though, because they rarely launch torpedoes when I ask them to. We're not on captain's mode. If you want, you can switch over from rear admiral, which is the default to captain's mode, but that's not what we will be doing, because that's just not the way I chose to play the game. Um, Captain's mode does require a little bit more micromanagement, more than I want. So, all right, St. George, time to turn, baby. It's time to bring you home. So hopefully, we haven't taken too much damage. I don't know what's going on with these destroyers. Maybe, in fact, they are going to go after the Amalfi. She's definitely not sinking. It doesn't look like she's sinking at all. So, we'll have to be satisfied with heavy damage from her, and that's it. These guys are all engaging this bombardment target, that's ideal. The idea being here that we need to actually score some kind of hit. Oh good, that's, this is Oak, this is much better. Unfortunately we're still being pelted by these guys. Now they're turning and I think it'll be more a game of luck for them to hit us than anything else. That's my guess. Okay, more bombardment targets hit. We'll probably even get my... Let's get all the light cruisers to engage this bombardment target. Two more hits. I mean, how much... We have medium damage on it. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to sink it, <laughs> to destroy it. Okay, let's, let's bring on the St. George even to target it. Please. No. Okay. Well, that's it. That was the plan, right? Go in, do damage to the bombardment target, and get out. We never had a bigger plan than that. I mean, we don't have any choice, really. Our six inch guns are actually hitting stuff. That's fantastic. We have a. Yeah. 
pass through hit. That's not good. Squad max for everyone. It's time to get out of here. Okay, good. So that's it. That's our engagement. Now we just peel away slowly. I'm going to try to give the St. George one more opportunity. Okay, it's already just her rear guns firing, so... If we get lucky, we'll get one more hit. It doesn't look like it. Important thing here is to kind of stay balled up together. We are more effective that way. In fact, I'm going to bring these light cruisers around to the rear to protect the St. George. We have kind of done... There's one thing you can say, that we have at least forced their formation into a very awkward... I mean, I guess formation. <laughs> they, they don't really have a formation. It's just, you know, four heavy cruisers, which we probably can't defeat out in front. So we'll just see if we can land a few more hits. Even our light cruisers with their six-inch guns can penetrate from this distance, but... It's not ideal. So we're heading back northeast, and let's see what happens after that. More important at this point is probably to get out of there than to engage, or than to flee in the correct direction. Just to disengage is the most important thing. So we had a hit that didn't penetrate. We are hitting... How, are we doing any damage? Light damage, so not really. I think this was a good engagement for us. Basically, it wasn't in terms of did we do what we wanted to. No, we, we didn't accomplish almost anything that we wanted to accomplish. But we're outnumbered like, I mean, like seriously, maybe 15 to 1 in terms of heavy cruisers. So even getting rounds on target, we had a chance of destroying the bombardment target. We're going to leave it with medium damage because, well, I mean, it's suicidal to return. We'd have to go through with this entire formation. So right now we're just gonna just steam away. That's the idea. I need to get the St. George. Okay, she should be on the inside of the light cruisers just because I want her to be able to fire more effectively. I'm gonna resume manual control of this one. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Because it went into line of breast, which means it possibly could be uh, reattached. Okay, that's fine too. I was gonna say it might be going into torpedo mode which would have been fantastic, but... Okay, so I think at this point we just roll out of here very closely, very slowly. The Tiger has been detached. I don't know where that other Amalfi... Um, is this the San Marco that got hit? I don't remember. I thought there was one other heavy cruiser that was in a really bad shape, but... I have no idea where it is. Maybe it's this one? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> That's okay. We have our... Ooh, no, you don't look like you're in good shape, Spitzgar. I think this Spitzgar is going to... Sigetsvar, I should say. He's going to detach again, and we'll once again set her onto torpedo mode. Unfortunately, there's just no hope for her. Ah, a pretty strong hit against our St. George. I don't really think we've done much damage at all. We might actually be able to disengage well. Uh, no, the tiger's just getting ripped to shreds. I don't think we're gonna... The tiger does not... is not likely to survive this. So what we'll do is we'll disengage these guys. They... wait, no, never mind. Again, they have so many torpedoes left. In the end, we didn't launch very many torpedoes at all. So it looks like the Sigetsvar is going to be our sac sacrificial lamb. Yes, we want to detach her. AI controlled. Maybe she'll be able to launch some torpedoes, get something done. I'm even going to swing a little bit harder north. Maybe we can knock off this transport ship. I don't think it'll do much for us, but it's part of our disengagement path anyway, so. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to leave the St. George to kind of... Uh, no, it's too risky. I was thinking of leaving her to kind of detour detour ships from firing at the Sigetsvar. <sighs> Which wouldn't be a bad decision. Let's actually get this destroyer group. 
Okay, I think I'm, I'm going to do it. Let's make a run with these guys. No, I, I can't. It, it's too costly. You guys can engage, right? Is there any reason why you're not engaging? Huh. Okay, so a few of these guys are engaging. That's good. Yeah, we have ships everywhere, though. <laughs> okay. Spigot's so Farm might do something in the end after all. We landed one hit. Is that all we're going to get? Okay, well... I guess that's it. So we'll just kind of protect against these light cruisers here. They have turned away intelligently. And it's just this game of trying to keep everyone at bay from the Sigets far. If we can actually kite them all the way back. How far? Well, Spilato's not that far. Let's try to save this Figgit's Far. It's a little... Uh, it's a gamble. Sure, because it could really backfire if we take a big hit on the St. George and she loses speed. That's it. That's the end game for her. So let's actually... Let me see what she's doing. Is it... She, she is evading. So that is good. Alright. And what's her role? Right now? No. What's her like? She is with the St. George. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, well, let's see how this works. This is uh, going to be an exciting little game of, of tag. It seems like they close when we leave the Sigurds far, but. <laughs> and then as soon as we turn, they're like, okay, turn, turn back. You know what? I am going to manually control this guy again. Because if she can just get out, if we can put her behind the line of our other um, ships, we're in good shape. And I think we can. She's even doing some good work. She hit the Toronto class again. Kind of a suicidal ship just charging forward like that. And I wasn't controlling these guys well. Those those guys should be um, supporting, not doing whatever they're doing there. Okay, now this is good. I think this is good. We just, as soon as they start coming into range again, like, they're all moving towards us, right? So that's the time when we want to pull back again. We're just covering this if it gets far retreat. Um, let's turn you guys north. Let's turn you guys can turn west, but let's have you guys roll north from the east. Okay, that's fair enough. I think that's a good enough direction. Uh, one other thing I didn't even check is, do we have any destroyers? No. Where are these things, though? Let's find out. Um, okay, we do have one over here, and one there. Yeah, yeah. So let's try to get over these coastal guns. In fact, that'll be our target, this one on the northwest. I mean, it's northeast of us, but northwest from the port. Okay, let's turn the St. George back so she can continue to get good fire down. All right, keep pushing out... Keep pushing out so it gets far. You're just... Yeah, it's a little chaotic. When we have all this, I'm pretty sure our chances hit are very slim. Where is the DD tire? Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want to detach you. Which should send you home. Because you're not... You, you shouldn't be a part of the fight anymore. Just go back. For crying out loud. Did we, did we lose a ship, by the way? Tiger, the so gets far. Where's the leopard? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's also detach the leopard. 
she looks like she's already heading home. So now we kind of want to cover the tiger as well. And she got the memo. She's turning. Okay, we want you to turn back again, uh, just like these guys. Actually, no, continue this way and let this light cruiser come over and cover. Whoops. Control of this game is not always the easiest, but I think that will be good. So now the St. George can keep firing at the Toronto class. That is who she's aiming at, right? Correct. Good. That's what I want. And uh, actually, one of the other light cruisers is the one who scored a hit on this Toronto class. How's she doing? Are we able to see? We don't have any reports on her damage, but uh, you can't even see that guns are too small, but doesn't look like any of them are knocked out. So this group is going like this. That's perfect. And this group's going to come in. So we get as far as making it slow way over. Yeah, the St. George is actually... <laughs> I'm firing a lot of ammo. Oh gosh, the spigots are reattached. Well, that's not what I wanted, actually. I should have just attached her manually when I had the chance. This isn't the worst thing, but it's not great. Okay, we'll hide the St. George behind our line of light cruisers. Since the Swiggets are attached to this one, this is, these are the people who we need going that way. Uh, it's hard to say what's the best thing to do here. The Hegelon took a hit. That's not good. I mean, we need to kind of sh get these guys out of here, but we're hurting them towards the Tiger right now, which is also not good. Really wish this Vigazar had not reattached. That's just not good. They are not focusing on the Tiger, so we, we need to head just directly north at this point to try to clear gun range. It shouldn't be too difficult. They're doing a lot of turret. Um, sorry, I saw turret jammed. They're doing a lot of turning. That's going to affect their ability to stay in range of us. Okay, very good. So do you guys down to 21. 22. Let's go 21, everyone, except for my heavy cruiser, who's going to be doing a lot of turning anyway. And actually, the Svigatara is going to um, detach at this point because she's going too slow. We have a long ways to go. We're only about a third of the way through. <laughs> so that means we're going to have to keep doing this turning and turning and turning and turning. Now, St. George, which turret jammed? Thank God it's your front one. So there's no point in facing towards... And it looks like the tiger is going to, I think, get away. Okay, good. So let's actually physically detach the Svigatar so we don't have the same problem. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen. That means, unfortunately, we're going to have to turn and protect. Whoa, did she just gain speed? Huh. No, 16 is her max speed. Okay, fine. Well, we will try to shield her as best we can. As far as I know, we still have that turret jam, so let's not go too far south. Oh my gosh. I hope the nearest port for her is not Pola. I hope she's making her way towards Spilato. Whoops. Let's get these guys to do something not suicidal. But other than that, things are working out well for us. It would have been really nice if we could even just take the light, the heavy cruiser all the way around, like some kind of absurd all the way around loop to get back over here and engage our bombardment target, but it's extremely unlikely. Okay, the swig as far as now being suicidal in a completely new manner. There's no end to the stupidity of... Oh, she's trying to go to... Kataro? Um, like, what are you doing? Ah. Okay, well... We will try to cover... And St. George's guns are all firing now. That's 
good. Oh my gosh, she reattached again. No. Where's number three? Okay, well then your goal is just to get the hell out of here. Let's just leave these guys away at slow speed and we will sacrifice the fact that we won't have less light cruisers in this engagement just in order to keep the damn spigots far from being stupid. So we're, I mean, this is not ideal. Do have our heavy cruiser in front, which is what I want. One, better armor. Two, um, better armament. And now these guys can just slowly fade away. Okay, we lost a turret on Admiral Spawn. Getting hits. Another hit, but just six inch stuff. Okay, let's begin turning away, please. I wish my destroyers would make another torpedo run. A single torpedo hit could be deadly. Okay, now we are shielding again, that's fantastic. It kind of works nicely having our light cruisers able to just shield my heavy cruiser at will. We don't want to turn too far north because if we do, we'll run back into the Sphigus Fire and her handicapped group. So let's let those guys go that way. I think we're okay now. Let's pull a little closer to the St. George. Okay, her signals were misunderstood. We're just going to keep having her... What was your signal? What signal did you receive? Go home to Pola? Because eventually she'll get her signals back though. Swing down, support. We're getting there. We're slowly crossing the sea. <laughs> The destroyer's getting in the way is always nice too. Oh my gosh, an Achilles breakdown, that's not good. How, how What does that mean for your speed? Ah, oh, you're down to 15. Okay, well, we have another... We have to stall for another group now. Things are not going well. That's what you kind of expect for going high speed, but hopefully that is also happening to the Italian ships. Unfortunately, with statistics, they have so many ships, it's not likely it happened to all of them. We're getting close though. Uh, okay, look at let's just these guys obviously aren't gonna do anything, so let's just detach this whole group. I don't have any damage, so we probably can't do that, but let's just move them out of the way. Wait, who was it who had the engine troubles? It was the Achilles? Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, you just go that way. So it's just up to the St. George in this one group of four heavy or uh, light cruisers. They have to deter they have to somehow deter, you know, this army of cruisers from engaging the, our vulnerable ships. And that kind of stuff is not what we want to have happen. Ah, uh, we just gotta turn away. Let's just, every man for himself. <laughs> Head towards port, man. So we're kind of bringing them back this way. Let's bring them back down now. We'll keep bobbing and weaving. One, that's going to make it harder for them to return fire on us because they'll be turning a lot. Yeah, that was, I think that was pretty effective. 
and now we can kind of split the time between these two light cruisers, which gives both of them more time to actually get away. All right. I think it's working. Okay, let's just push on out of here then. At this point, we will gladly overrun. We're just gonna overrun our slower ships. It's every man for himself, I think. Which includes whoever is the faster ship on that one should just go. <laughs> oh god, I didn't mean for that to happen. Just go this way. You're fine. Okay, we're gonna probably identify ships, new ships all the time, constantly. But we're getting out. We are definitely getting out of here. Now the question is, once we get around port, maybe I will still do some weird tactic where I send off a heavy cruiser. No, I think we should just take our licking. Yeah, this is, we need a battleship engagement. This is not, this is insane. What I will do is actually make a new heavy cruiser, uh, which has the low freeboard, the short range, all those things. Let's just make her, well, we just need a lot of her. Maybe 10 inch guns, maybe even 11, I don't know. Probably 10 inch guns. We'll have to see what the difference is. Okay, where's the St. George? We do need you one more time to just come back and save these damn ships. And you too, since you only have one ship, which is slow. And she's only a speed of 20, that's not bad. So let's head off anybody who's trying to fire at these guys. Everyone's almost to port now, so that's the good news. Yeah, that, see? That's all it took. It's just a heavy cruiser coming into range and they turned. Now we actually need to keep heading there because we don't want them to fire the Sigitsvar either. Sigitsvar. Very good. Now just head home. Ugh, whatever, I don't care. Okay, we're going to stop this Toronto class from engaging. We'll turn back with the St. George at the same time. Good, very good. And now they're going to have to turn and we'll have some free shots on these Toronto guys who are very bold. I'm going to leave you on AI control, I don't care. We are actually getting some pretty good, yeah, there's, I thought that might happen, that they stayed for so long, we're actually able to engage them decently. Someone just detached because they couldn't keep up or something, but it doesn't matter. They're actually making a run. Okay, never mind. Okay, you guys actually should head back to port as well. We'll soon have um, our home guns able to support us. What are these anyway? Four inch guns, of course. So they're not really gonna be that useful. We might be already out of rear ammo. No, we still have some aft ammo, that's good. Wow, we might have sunk this ship. It's dead stopped. Oh no, it probably just had a, a like an engine breakdown or something. It looks like we're gonna make it home. All right, so I don't, I don't think this was like the most exciting battle in terms of, oh, how many ships am I going to sink? How many kills am I going to rack up? 
But it was pretty intense just trying to get all my boys home. And by some kind of miracle, really the miracle of terrible fire control, we were able to do it. So as soon as we get between these two points, I feel like we're pretty safe. Now they might actually go ahead and destroy my installations, but I'm not worried about that. I don't know if it actually removes them from the map or not. We'll find out soon. Because they'll probably end up doing that. I think that was yes to enter port. Good. Okay, well, let's see what happens in a second. I might as well kind of toy around with the St. George. Let her fire the rest of her ammo. I mean, it says that she has main ammo left, but she's not using it. Okay, Leopard, go home, which means the rest of you guys actually just go down to 20. You guys will be the St. George support squad, as well as, I don't remember which of these. Yes. Okay, so no, you guys are also need to enter port. So it's really just the, the St. George. <laughs> That's fine. St. George is going to stay on the protected side. Let's turn back around. What are these flags, I wonder? Oh, d uh, I see. Enemies detected. Okay. Actually, it would be really nice if we could run them into this minefield down here. If it's possible, that would be wonderful. And that's the only minefield we have set up. So we'll probably have to... Oh my gosh. What is the tiger doing? Okay. Um, I don't think the tiger's gonna make it. <laughs> Somehow she got her signals all confused and decided to com roll. She's it's between <laughs> between her and port is the entire cruiser navy of the Italians not a spectacular thing so for some reason we are not using the rest of our ammo to target like any of these ships I guess oh land of sight uh, LOS is blocked okay line of sight is blocked by land I forgot so now we should actually start engaging again there it is Okay, let's see what happens. Can we get any hits? Just try to keep going at a, a fixed distance for a long time. Okay, turn back. That could be helpful for our tiger. Let our St. George come a little closer. Not too many hits. Okay, let's turn back down. <clears throat> it's us versus this San Marco class. They only have 7 inch guns, so I'm a little bit less concerned. They did hit us. They hit us again. But two belts, and they didn't penetrate. Belt extended also did not penetrate. It's a little suicidal, but I, I'm, I'm risking it. Okay, we got a, some 6-inch guns hits on them. Another one. Oh, 9-inch hit. Okay, we did get a penetrating hit. Nighttime's coming, so we'll just turn away now. Okay, good. And that should also allow the uh, tiger to escape eventually. As soon as um, the St. George enters port, it will become just the tiger. And I think we'll be able to take control of her at that point. 
And we'll just uh, send her down to a different port or something. Oh, well, at the same time, okay, the tiger knew better than... Can we control it now? Oh, good, we can actually control it. Okay, so let's just send you this way, exactly. And let's speed up time. Very good. Woof. Oh my goodness, we sank a heavy cruiser and a destroyer. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, well, this was still a minor victory for us. Wow, that's so exciting. You know, we really pulled it out. Just take a look at this, the odds, though. There was... Okay, I was slightly exaggerating when I said 20 heavy cruisers. There was only 12 of them. But 12 to 1, I mean, that's still pretty insane odds. Now, it, we had 15 light cruisers, and they only had 10. No, sorry, I had 10 light cruisers, and they had 15. Okay, I was like, how did I add more? I mean, we, we really just came away a lot better than they did. Didn't destroy the target, which gave, unfortunately gave them bonus points. They also got bonus points for surviving merchant ships. But hey, at the end of the day, they have one less heavy cruiser than they did. And all the rest of our ships should be okay. We might have one destroyer, which needs to stay in port for repairs. But we learned a lot. I would say that that's maybe the best thing for us, is that we learn to be very careful about our engagements. Now, unfortunately, we just took over Angola, which means for the rest of the game, we're going to have to keep some kind of supply of foreign station um, in West Africa, which is a real bummer. They need at least 3,000 tons. We'll send one light cruiser over there. How much? I don't even know what kind of capacity we have. 36. I think that's enough to support at least a light cruiser, maybe even two. Um, Italy doesn't have any territory over in West Africa, so hopefully moving some ships over won't cause a fight over there, since I want most of my ships in the Mediterranean. That's what I envisioned for this whole campaign, the whole Let's Play series, which is kind of staying local. But the game, I mean, it's technically a good event to capture other territory, but uh, yeah, that's just the card that the game dealt us. So we'll, we'll think about making a new heavy cruiser in the next episode and we'll continue our fight against Italy, which surprisingly has started off pretty well. Thanks for watching this episode and I will catch you in the next.